हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन माई नेम इज हीना शेक एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दिस क्रिएटिव राइट ओवर हियर एंड येस दिस क्रिएटिव इज वन हंड्रेड परसेंट मेड इन कैनवा फ्रॉम द वेरी स्क्रैच सो इफ यू आर एक्साइटेड ज्वाइन मी इन दिस वीडियो एंड लेट्स गो अहेड एंड चेक इट आउट हाउ आई हैव क्रिएटेड इट सो लेट्स गो एंड ओपन कैनवा so once you are here on canva as you can see i have created this design if you can see all the elements of this design are created in canva itself like the text the element everything is in canva itself so let's go ahead and recreate this from scratch okay so first of all what you need to do is take a blank page in canva if you want to know how to start from scratch is very simple once you are here in the home tab of canva click on this create a new design button and click on instagram post once you have opened this instagram post now you can change the color so what i did is i first of all change the color so i don't remember the color of this so i'll again go back to the same tab and over here we are going to work okay so this is the color if you want to know what is the color code of this color you can click on this button right over here and you will see the color code and this is how you check the color code in canva so this is how you do it and uh, yeah that's it now let's go ahead and see what i have done first of all i have written find your dream home so when you want to add a text in canva you have to press t so let's just press t in our keyboard and add our text so first of all i'm going to add find your yeah that is the something which is written in one text box and the next one is in the other text box so let's write find your in one text box and let's duplicate it when you press command plus d or control plus d in windows you duplicate it and now let's add the other text which is dream home over here so i'll just add dream home uh, yeah dream home like this okay so we have now added the text now we have to style them so the font which i have used in this design is montserrat extra bold so you can search for it and you can apply it and i'm going to press this small little icon which is going to help me to convert this text into upper case so i'll press on it and then i'll make it a bit zoom like i'll just zoom it and i'll rotate it or else i'll you know click on italics so that it is in italics same thing i'm going to do with dream home so i'll first of all go ahead and apply montserrat extra bold make it caps and then apply the bold okay so this is what we have done and then apply italics so if if you can see in the dream there is different color so let's apply that color in this dream so how you we can do it is just click on the text select that specific word here i'm going to select dream click on text color and then apply the color code if you can see this is the color code of the text when you just hover your mouse on the color in canva you can see the color code used so i'll just apply this color like this okay so now the next thing is you have to rotate it if you can see i have rotated it to around 8 degree so i'll just rotate this as itself to around 8 degree like this you can rotate using this rotate bar and i'll rotate this also so let's rotate uh yes like this and then let's go to effects and apply lift so this is the effect which i have applied so that there is some kind of depth to this sec to this text so you have to apply the lift effect twice that's what i did so let's go ahead and do it i'll increase its intensity to 100 and again i'm going to click on dream home and now i'll apply effects and this time also let's make the intensity to 100 okay like this and we have to make this dream home bigger just like this and let's take them both a bit over here and let's you know place it so i think this is done find your dream home is done 
now we have to add these kind of rays if you can see in the background there are rays from all the four sides so those kind of rays when you you can search for comic strip in canva or something like that if you want to know what is the exact name of the element which i have used in this design you have to click over here in this ray and click on this eye icon and if you can see this is comic zoom focus lines empty background so if you search for this exact thing in canva you will find this background so for now i'll just duplicate it like i'll just copy it and i'll paste it and use it okay but to give you a demo you can even i'm going to search comic zoom lines so if you can see the very first one is the one which i have used and uh, like this i added it then i changed its color to white like this and then i changed its opacity to around 20ish or 30ish and then i made it bigger like this okay so this is how you add such kind of thing in canva so once i have added it now the next thing is we have to add this so how i found this element in canva is i just went on elements and i searched for lines or else like let's find out what the exact name of this element is when you click on i you will find this is a line icon so let's go ahead and search for lines okay so let's search for line icon or line anything you can search for it so when you search for it you can go to graphics because in graphics you will find different lines so let's just search for lines yeah over here you will find different different lines like this is one of the line which i can use and uh, yeah like the more i go down i'll find more ones so anything which you like you can use it so i'll use the exact same one so the name is line icon so yeah i'll just copy it i'll just copy this one and i'll use it over here like this okay so when you search for lines and if you dig down into the search of canva you're going to find some line icons like this like this is the same one if you see we just found it this is the one which we have used which i have used in this design so this is the one if you want to use if you want to exactly recreate this design and then once you are happy place it like this next is we have to for search for this home and search for this circular frame okay so let's go ahead and do it uh, to find that house i think what i have done is i have placed that home in a circular frame so this is the home so you can just search for home and you will find different different homes over here if you can see this is the home which i have used this exact home when you search for home you will find it and it is free so even as a free canva user you can use this home so first add this home then go to elements and search for frames uh let's not directly search for frames once you're here look for frames and then click on this okay right over here and then choose the very first circular frame make it big and place it like this around somewhere like this then place this over here then the next thing is to add this gold metallic frame so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to elements again and here i'll search for gold metallic circle let's search for it and see yes when you search for it you're going to find so many things like this i think this is the one or uh, let's find the exact one or you can use any other one as well so let me see what actual name is it's gold round frame so you can search for gold round frame and you will find this yeah this one is the one so i'll just click on it i'll add it and i'll place it like this okay now we have to add the text the other text so just press t like this change the color i'll change it to white 
and then you can change its alignment to left now add the text so here if I'm adding special features so I'll just add special features make it like this and next is this so you can add the text so I'll just copy and paste the text since adding text is very simple now you know how to add text in Canva so I'll exactly add the text like this to add such pointers which I have added in this one you just need to enable this bullets and you can add pointers and here the next text is there so I'll again copy this and I'll paste it okay so what I have done is there is this another text field and this is the another different text field so this is in just Montserrat font and this is an extra bold font and the color of this is similar to the color which we used in dream and yeah that is pretty much it and now let's add some icons in the downside and we have to add such book now icon okay so if you go over here and if you search for shapes in elements you will find multiple shapes like this so let's choose a shape you can choose any shape which you like so for now I'll choose this one and I'm gonna make this also as yellow and this also as yellow and then I can keep it over here I can make it size less and make it large just like this add it over here I know this is not the exact one which I have used to find out the exact one just click on this eye icon its shape so yeah it's just that you have to find it like at times you will not exactly find the same one which you want to use in your design like at times when even you try to recreate few designs like if you see a design which is created by someone else on any other platform and you want to recreate it you, you will not find exact same elements in canva or you might find them but you'll have to put in a lot of effort in finding them so instead at times it is okay if you are just using the similar ones not the exact one so there is no as such issues so I'm gonna use this itself for now and I'll add book now text over here okay so let's add book now and let's change the color to this blue and I'll resize it yep now you can add these details I'll just select them and paste them over here so how to find such icons I'll tell you like this is a web icon if you come over here and in elements and search for web you will find this icon this is the icon which is used over here I just changed the color and resized it and then I have added a dummy website and a dummy number so this phone number icon also if you search for phone you will find this and this is how you create this design in Canva from scratch so I hope you like the tutorial if so please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming Canva tutorials or any tips or videos which I'm going to share and uh, i do have plans of getting consistent with my youtube so make sure you follow not follow oh my god i'm so much used to my instagram language so yeah make sure you subscribe to this channel and add in the comments if you like this video and let me know what all more videos you want to see from me so yeah that's it from me and i'll see you there in the next one thank you